You hit your car. I don't have a cool you? car, but you know. Taking my solo away. The I am a car girl. Angelique has a nice car. I'm you with her brand new car. Hey guys, a little background. For two to three years now, I have been dreaming of getting a manual car of my own that I could build and fully invest my time, money in, into truly growing into loving this hobby. During those two to three years, I've literally just been learning, driving other people's cars, asking a bunch of questions, and just trying to really know more about cars, despite myself not having my own car. And it took a while for me to build up and buy my own car, which is the whole point of this video. I hope that if you are currently a beginner in learning about cars and want to learn more and be a car enthusiast but can't afford to get your own car i suggest meeting car people and really like asking them questions fully investing and really knowing more about it people who really know about cars and being surrounded by that because you're going to grow either way even if you don't have a car that's exactly what i did i was driving all of their cars but i just didn't have my own and today is finally the day where i finally have my own i am so excited for what this car can hold what i can do and what i can put into this car how i will build it and i'm so excited to show you guys through these videos i hope you guys are excited for me as i am for myself see you guys i got a gr86 I literally stopped pumping gas just to look. Can we drive it? Huh? It's only been two to three hours and the first agenda I had to do was show Ileana. I was gonna go home too! <laughs> she's still cooler than me because she's bagged and got wheels. I did it. She did. No, I was about to say like all this talk and you finally have it. No, I know. So, I don't know how to talk in front of a camera. This is kind of hard. I've had this camera for a year, you know, and I told myself, I was like, when I get this camera, I'm gonna start YouTube and it's gonna be an investment. And I'm gonna make the money back I bought for the camera. It's been a year. Finally have something to make content of, which is... Looks like a mini Supra. <laughs> yeah. Elijah, look. No reaction. <laughs> it's manual on a premium model. Did you get a GRD6 too? Did you? No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> nah. This is not even fit, you weirdo. Angelique's first car mod. I got this in Japan when I said that I was gonna get a GR86 one day and I would install this on there. Can't even. Oh, hello? Why did you turn on the car? You said you wanted to sit in here. You can use my power drill, Angelique. Does Come with me. Okay. Get out of my car. Hey guys. Inside my car. Okay guys, we're gonna install this into the car now. Wait, we still need the power drill to put it. Okay. Like my car? It's Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness! What? I'm getting a car walk. Where's the hole? Where's the cir circle? This! Oh. The whole point of the circle! <laughs> what? You hit your car. No, I'm just kidding. You're gonna make me cry! <laughs> Don't hit my car! Is this the back or is this the front? Angelique! That was hard. That was like the hardest car model I've ever. I think I broke it. Okay, Ileana's gonna do it for me. Bro, Mark is so fed up with this. I have this little duck bill. Kind of cool because I like how it just flares a little bit. Good job, Ileana. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to the car wash now. I think I'm gonna talk about the specs another day. I don't think that camera's gonna stay when I drive. But... Oh, that sounds so nice. Imagine if that was coming from my car. We're at the wash now. Get Ileana go. Yeah. Look at that GR. It's on the ground. High pressure rinse. Kind of wasting our time with the high pressure rinse. You gotta run. <laughs> oh, he's washing his car too. She asked me to put on high pressure rinse and I put it on high pressure soap. Why? Just wasted her dollar. This car is extra, extra clean. Don't get those two mixed up. This is actually like straight from Japan though. But I also have a shift knob because I told myself that when I get my GR86, I'll use it. But I don't want to change the shift knob yet. Did you say? Done recording. Hey guys, so it is currently day two. It hasn't even been 24 hours. It has been 14 to 15 hours since I first brought the car home. Currently about to clock into work. Jonathan woke up late today. There is more sunlight. I want to show you guys more of the car. Here's the freaking beautiful car. 
beautiful GR86 that I've been dreaming of for like no kidding guys like two years now I'm not even exaggerating I believe it was two years ago when I was like oh, I want a GR86 and one day I'm gonna get a GR86 look at that detailing that little tiny GR itself adds so much to it last night I could not sleep do you see how shiny this tire is it's because Mark sprayed tire shine on that wheel but then didn't do it on the rest so now there's like one wheel that's super shiny this is the premium model honestly I would have settled for a base but it was so hard to even find a gr86 itself i just got really lucky with this premium model i did find a base model in a different color it was the color steel but i did not want to get steel so this is the interior guys i love the interior if you guys like don't know i used to have an rsx type s it was a project car it wasn't like in bad bad condition it needed some fixing this is like a brand new car like, i literally picked it up from the dealership with zero miles these back seats are totally useless it's only meant for storage like not even meant for passengers imagine you sitting there and your legs getting squished well i believe i could probably fit like one small person behind me because i kind of sit really close to the steering wheel i'm five two it smells so good this is literally my dream car okay well no not really my dream car is like a supra but this is like my reasonable dream car i feel like such a racer in this car i can't even express how grateful i am like i keep like freaking saying words work now jonathan is so late i was waiting in the parking lot for like so long look at all these gr86s i think this one's the best one. This is straight from the dealership. Still has warranty that's valid. Car, though. I was all the way there and I took her in my car. <laughs> I know. I was like, why is she in your car? Guys, every car here is bagged. It's making me want to get bags. Jaden, I'm starting a YouTube channel. How's the show about? Yummy. Because I'm with Danielle at this car meet. I'm Danielle. I'm with Angelique. We are at the Hello Kitty car meet. And this is Angelique's first debut with her brand new car. Congratulate her in the comments right now or oh, you're fake as I broke my spoon. Oh, like potato, potato corner. corner. So it's currently been about 33 hours since I last got the car and I decided to run the tow with it. Each and every time I look at it, I like fall more in love with the car. And there's just so much to love about it. This is such a beautiful car, guys. The max it could fit in this car is one person. There's like a few little differences compared to the base model. For example, this beautiful little duck bill that's on the rear. The wheels are also pretty different. I believe the base model comes with silver 17 inch wheels and then mine's 18 inch. It's black. Honestly, I love the stocks on these. I do want new wheels, but for now, I don't mind running these stocks. Another great feature is that it does come with eight speakers instead of six speakers. The interior for the premium model comes with leather and suede and it's so beautiful, guys. This whole car is giving me a sporty look. I'm just so in love. It is a sports car. Personally, I actually really love leather or like suede seats. I believe everything else is the same. I got this car at MSRP, guys. They didn't do any markups or add-ons at the dealership. Back when I was searching, I was getting offers for a base model at the same price that I bought this car at. And that is so crazy because why would I buy that base model at the same price that I could buy a premium model for, you know? Do you see that? It just slowed down. Is he looking at my car? I think I have a button on this. Ooh, I have a trunk button. This trunk space is not that big. And I also got a first aid kit and a cargo net. Definitely cannot kidnap anyone in here because it's too small. It says GR86 on the mat. We have a blind spot little blinker, which tells us if there's someone in our blind spot. One last thing. I also forgot to mention, when I bought the car, they had me install Toyota app and I am given one year of a subscription to be able to unlock and lock my car on my phone. So let's test it out. It does let me know that my windows are open. I could lock, unlock, and press the hazards and press the horn through my phone. Isn't that so cool? And it also lets me know how many miles of gas I have left. Right now, I think it's unlocked, so let's lock it. It takes quite a while. Oh, did you guys hear that? Let's unlock it. And it even notifies you that your vehicle is now locked. There you go. You go for the first time. Wait, how you call? Um, oh. Wait, why is it calling? What's up, goodie boy? Hey, oh my gosh, it worked! 
you How did you tell? Oh, wait, I got it. Hello? <gasps> Hello? Hello? Wait, what if we stand here? Hello? What's up, guys? Roger, how did you hear me? How did you hear me? Press it up the same. Static thing. Eliana, over. Yes, Angelique, over. <laughs> um. What's going on? Let's test it while driving. Yeah. I think we should use this to box a car. Oh, we Where's just lost charger? our trash. Hello? Guys, you can't leave this on the ground. <laughs> you really feel it now, huh? You clipped that onto your pants. <laughs> Angelique, Angelique. Turn. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> so cool. So who's gonna pick up that cool. trash? <laughs> Yo, who played that? What the hell? <laughs> guys, this is Nico Sandino. He works at Starbucks and he's in love with. Oh. I'm just kidding. He drives a Honda Accord. I don't know these bitches, but girl, they just not.